Here's a sneak peek of some of the neon pigments that I've been testing. Stay tuned to find out what's inside. Hi Soapy friends, it's Steph from Micas and More. I'm testing some new neon pigments today in a scent called Bay Rum. Let's make soap! First I'll mix up an eighth of a teaspoon of each pigment in a small amount of oil. I wanted a lot of fun colors for this scent and neon pigments really fit the bill. Please note that neon pigments are not the same as micas. Micas always have the word mica in the inky information on the label. Mica also has a shimmery appearance, whereas a neon pigment will have more of a matte or flat appearance. Neon pigments are also blacklight reactive, and they're very potent, so you can use less of a neon pigment than you can a mica to achieve a saturated color. I just thought I'd share with you a little bit of the differences between these two colorants. I add the lye water to the melted oils. The oils I use are lard, coconut oil, olive pomace oil, shea butter, and sweet almond oil. I'm using a 6% super fat and I'm soaping at about 100 degrees. I do this because my recipe tends to have a lot of hard oils and I find that it works better this way. My water is 33% and I'm using Tussa silk, sugar, and sodium lactate, which is already added to my water. Now I'll stick blend until it reaches a light trace. I use the small spoonula to clean off my stick blender. This is my favorite soapy tool of all time. It's perfect for small batches and for mixing small amounts of colorants. Now I'll add the fragrance oil. Bay Rum is a sweet and spicy scent with notes of bay leaf and orange peel and zest. This is a retest of a scent that I've done previously and now I'm doing it at the updated IFRA rate of 2.83%. If the scent isn't strong enough in the cured soap, I'll send this one back to my manufacturer to be reformulated. Here I'm mixing each pigment into four ounces of soap batter, and then I'll put it into a different container for the one pot wonder swirl. Let's get this soap in the mold.
I'll make a design on the top with a small spoon, and this time I won't mess with it too much before I finish. One last look before I put this one to bed. I'll put it in a box and in a thermal bag overnight. And here's the cut soap picks. I really enjoyed making this soap with lots of fun neon colors. If you'd like to order supplies used here, you can do that at micasandmore.com. And if you'd like to show what you've made with my other products, you can share in my Facebook group, Steph's Micas and More. And I'll add soap samples to the store so you can tell how this will smell in soap. And here's some other suggestions on videos that you might enjoy also. Thanks for watching!